Today we're going to take a neutral spirit. We're going to turn it into bourbon. We're not going to use any oak. We're not even going to age it. <laughs> what did he say? That's what he said. It's crazy. Let's go. This is going to be the first video I do in a series about moonshining and home distilling related products. And um, I'll put it in a playlist probably and call it Gifts for Moonshiners. So if you, uh, you can send your loved ones who you know would love to buy you some gifts to this playlist to find all the cool stuff. All right, so here we go. This, uh, we're going to make some bourbon with this product. Uh, this is a product that was recommended to me by uh, some folks in the comments and I went back to see if I could find those comments so I could give credit, but I couldn't find them. I apologize, but it's uh, Steel Spirits Classic Flavoring American Bourbon. So we're going to try it out. And what it says is uh, it's a rich, smoky style bourbon flavoring with wood barrel aromas, subtle chocolate and vanilla notes for a smooth finish. So uh, and the instructions say um, one sachet to 1.125 liters uh, of 40% ABV alcohol. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take this uh, neutral spirit or high proof sugar wash is what it was. Uh, I think we did a video about that or we did a live. I'm not sure. But... Um, Anyway, doesn't matter. So uh, 1.125 liters or 1125 milliliters. So I've got to remove some of this and then we've got to proof this 160 proof down to 80 proof and then we're going to add one packet. So this is going to be easy with these half gallon jars. If you have them, uh, one of the reasons I like using them is they're marked uh, with milliliters, that's the cup side, but with the milliliters, you 250, 500, 750, 1000, and up. So each one of these marks is 250 milliliters, so it just makes the math easy. Also, to proof this down, because we're going to 80 proof, yeah, 40% ABV or 80 proof, and we're starting with 160 proof, 80 is half of 160, so there's no real math involved in this because it's Half water, half 160 proof, we're going to get 80 proof. It's that simple. So don't have to do any math on that one. But I do need to, let's see, we're doing 1125 milliliters. So that's five, six, 25. That's uh, 625 milliliters of water, 625 milliliters of 160 proof, and I've got some bottled water. It's really cold, came out of the fridge, so it's probably going to cloud this up a little bit. No big deal. Um, so I'm going to separate this out, and I'll be right back. Okay, i gotta I got to double check my math, because I think I did it wrong. So I've got to have, uh, what is it, 100, I'm sorry, 1125 milliliters so that's actually 562 and a half so half of that mark and then half of that mark so it's one quarter of the way to from five one quarter of the way from 500 to 750. Making a mess again, as usual. That's how I roll. That is probably going to be it right there, we're going to call it. And so now I've got to add water up to the 1125 mark. Let's 
See how that cold water clouded that up real quick? <laughs> yeah, it'll settle out. So I need to go a little bit more, just a little more. Right there. Okay, I still got a bit of a mess. That smells yummy. So as you can see, it already started clearing up. I guess you can say, I say as you can see, maybe you can't tell or not, but. So, the instructions say one packet of this. So let's drop it in there. I'm going to pour a little bit in here so I can get the residue out. There we go. And then there's another packet still left in there, so you can do another one. I'm just going to do the one. Mix this up a little bit. Man, wipe this up a little bit. So it clouded up when I poured it in, and it seems to be clearing up. Seems to be clearing up now. So I'm gonna pull this tape off, this label. I'm actually gonna add it to this one over here. That's what this is. That's what we pulled off of there so that I can relabel this for what it is. The uh, Classic American Bourbon Flavoring by Still Spirits. And I'm just letting it kind of, I don't know, sit for a little bit. I don't know, what does it say? Well, it doesn't say anything about letting it sit or breathe or anything like that. So let's just see what it smells like. You know, it's, it smells like a bourbon. I do get some of that chocolate and caramel kind of smell. Let's give it a taste. You know, it's not bad. It does, uh, does kind of have that fake flavor a little bit, just a tint, you know, a tinge of it. But it's definitely smoky. Uh, you do get a little vanilla right up front. You know, it's not bad. I'm not going to say it's awful. I'm not going to say it's amazing. But it's not bad considering, um, you know, there was no aging. There's no barrel. There's no oak sticks for just a simple little thing. And I don't remember, I don't remember what this cost, but I, I want to say it was like $9 or $10. Got it on Amazon. I'll put a link down in the show notes. You know, it, it's, it's not awful. I, honestly, I expected it to be worse than it is. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, give it a shot if you want to, uh, if you want to try it. If you don't have any oak yet or, you know, you've got some oak or you've got a barrel and you're going to make some bourbon, but it's going to be two months before it's ready, you know, give this a try. It's not awful, like I said. I think there's probably a lot of people out there that would really enjoy it. 
So I, I did not expect it to be that good, honestly. I really thought it was just going to be terrible. It does have that kind of uh, fake flavoring taste. It's real subtle and it's right at the back. And, you know, it's not awful, but it's there and it's not real strong, but it is there. You can tell. So I don't know. I can't give you a definitive deal. I, th I thought it was going to be, um, I thought it was going to be worse and I was going to be able to just say, Hey, don't get this, but it's not that bad. So try it if you want. Uh, if you don't try it, you're probably not missing a whole lot. So it's up to you. Give it a shot or don't. See you on the next one.